What's up, it's Chris P and today I'm gonna to show you how to make any drawing tool based off of an image. Let's be real here. You're here trying to learn how to make art with code, so you probably suck at painting. I mean, you're better than the average Joe, but really can you paint something as detailed as this in an hour? I mean, I drew this painting, but with computer assistance, first we're gonna to wanna to load an image. Second, we want to create a brush. Third, we want to create a variable to control the size of the brush. Fourth, we want to get the pixel color from the original image. Fifth, we want to make our mouse interactive whenever we press down and whenever we drag. Then we need to be able to control the size of the brush. Oh god, white screen of death. I'm feeling anxious right now. If you do start to feel overwhelmed when you just opened up a code, don't worry. This is why we just created our list. Let's get our foundation set up and begin with setup. Next, we're gonna need to add our image. No image, let's go ahead and research one. In this case, I chose photos of the George Floyd protest so we can load our image. And this is what we got so far. Why don't we see an image? Think of the image as being stored in an invisible space waiting to be called upon by draw. Let's make the brush. Computers are dumb. So we have to describe to the computer what a brush is. Why don't we start with an ellipse? Now we're gonna press play. All right, we have an ellipse. Wait a second, we still don't have a brush. So what are we missing? Interactivity. Why don't we just start with mouse drag? This way the mouse starts drawing every single time it's eaten by a cat. Every single time the mouse is dragged. Yes. This brush is really dull. So next we're gonna to wanna to add color. If you watched my last video on how to make a 3D audio reactive music video, it required a simple step. We're gonna to wanna to get the color from the original image. How are we supposed to get the color exactly? Do we just ask the computer really nicely? Oh, computer gods, please give me the colors of the image. Pretty, pretty, please, computer. Hey, you, give me the colors of the image. So we're gonna to wanna to use get i love using get ah oh, i broke it ah oh, this is killing me what we need to say is only get the colors from our original image now let's see what happens yes we are now successfully sampling colors get pixels not the easiest thing to just jump into so don't worry if you're confused basically done as far as making a simple brush. Why don't we change our brush size whenever I'm using my mouse wheel? How the heck do we do that? If you think about it, I'm saying if the mouse is scrolled up, then make the brush size bigger. That sounds an awful lot to me, like an if statement. We need to know if negative one or positive one on the mouse wheel means up or means down. We're gonna need to create an if statement I'm gonna draw a line like normal. Now the lines should be bigger. What the heck? Maybe when I move my mouse down. Oh, that didn't work. What's the problem? We're gonna to have to create a variable to control our brush size. Now the lines should be bigger because I just wheeled my mouse up. What the heck? Maybe when I move my mouse down. Oh, what happened? This if statement stuff can get really confusing. The reason why that didn't work is the brush size has not been assigned anywhere. So now we have brush size controlling the width and the height. All right, it starts off small, it gets bigger. Yes, but I'm curious, what happens when I keep going down, smaller, smaller, down, smaller, what? Right now, if I keep scrolling up or if I keep scrolling down, eventually it just starts getting bigger. So we need to be able to say, keep getting smaller until a certain point and then stop. We're gonna create our second if. But hey, if you're still confused about if statements, I'm gonna make a video about this anyway. Just gonna keep on scrolling up for a second. Now we're gonna scroll down and yes, staying at its smallest size. Ta-da! We can now control the size of our brush. Take that, Photoshop. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I know this is only one brush, but processing and creative coding can really show you how we can create our own tools that can push the boundaries of what's possible. So why rely on what previous institutions gave us? This is like being able to custom order your paints or going off and picking your own flowers, crushing them, creating your own paints, chopping your own wood, and 
turning that wood into a unique brush. All right, it's really annoying not being able to see what kind of colors that I have. So why don't we add a color palette? So I'm just gonna go ahead and add another void. Then I'm gonna say create a rectangle to display those colors. Yeah, there it is. Whenever I move my mouse, we now have a little color palette. Now I know I'm about to draw this exact peach. Exactly. How did I do that? Mouse move. If the mouse is moving, display that color with get pixel on a rectangle. We're basically done. All I'm gonna do now is just add a rectangle and some text so that we can see our brush size. Yes. All right, it doesn't go any smaller than one. Finally, we are absolutely done. Okay, so here's what you've been waiting for, the paintings. One of the most empowering aspects of being an artist is understanding that you have a voice. You can choose to do what I normally do and use your art as a window of imagination to allow your viewer to escape, or you can use it to communicate a message that's meaningful to you in the real world. The amazing part is the choice is yours. The code is now in your hands and the choice is up to you. Really this tool is just the foundation for being able to make hundreds of different paintings. And then when you have that painting and you show your friends and family, tell them you hand painted it. Don't tell them a computer did it. Then again, you created the robot yourself and then the robot made your art with you. So there you have it. The next time somebody tells you that you suck at painting, say, I do suck at painting, but I can make code that can make paintings for me. And as always, if you like this video and you want to get my code, it's all found on my website. And make sure to like and subscribe. Comment below for any ideas that you have and you want to see in the future. You probably want to see how I turned Drake's music video into a 3D audio reactive version coming up next.